Hello, this is Dallas Johnson with the Automobile Dealer Training Association, and I want to show you the 10 easy steps to obtain your Texas dealer's license. Step number one, web-based dealer training course. The first step in obtaining your Texas dealer's license, which is referred to as a general distinguishing number, is to take a six-hour online dealer training course. There is no test required in the course, but the Department of Motor Vehicles requires you view the entire six-hour course, and after you complete the training, you'll be able to download your official certificate of completion, and this will show the state that you completed the entire six-hour course. You'll need to submit the certificate with your online application, otherwise you will not be able to apply for your Texas dealer's license. In your dealer training course, we're gonna show you how to apply for your Texas dealer's license correctly. We have an entire section that shows you how to apply through the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles e-licensing website. So you can no longer apply for your license via mail. All persons must now apply for your license through the Department of Motor Vehicles e-licensing system. When you apply for your Texas dealer's license, the t state of Texas is going to review your criminal history. Criminal history does not disqualify a person from obtaining a Texas dealer's license, but the state wants to make sure that there are no issues that a dealer has had, like maybe uh, managing some auto theft ring or something like that. The Department of Motor Vehicles requires dealers to be of a high level of ethical standard because once you get your license, you're going to have oversight over some very large financial transactions since most of the vehicles you sell will be worth several thousands of dollars. So the state wants to make sure also you know that they're not giving a dealer's license to somebody that just robbed a bank or something like that they do require us to be of a high level of ethical standards step number two a business building you will have to have a building in order to obtain your texas dealer's license the building you use for your license must be zoned for the operation of a dealership so be sure to check with your city or county planning and zoning office to ensure the building you will use for your dealer's license is zoned to sell motor vehicles you must have an office in the building with, at minimum, a desk, two chairs, internet access, and a working telephone listed in your dealership name. These requirements are written right into Texas state law. If you do not own the building at which your dealer's license will be located, the lease for the building may not expire before your dealer license expiration date. Step number three, display area. You must have a display area that has sufficient space to display at least five of the vehicle types that you're going to be selling as a licensed dealer. The display area must be the same address as the building that houses your Texas dealer's license and may be on the outside of the building or the inside of the building. You must make sure that your vehicle inventory is separate from any other neighboring businesses customer parking. So make sure that you have some separation. The display area must also have adequate lighting if you're going to conduct business at night. Step number four, $25,000 dealer surety bond. You must obtain a $25,000 dealer surety bond in order to obtain a Texas dealer's license. The bond must be issued for two years and you must maintain your bond during the entire licensure period. You can easily obtain a bond from any bonding company or an insurance agency. And with good credit, a $25,000 dealer bond should cost you about two to $300 a year. Step number five, business sign. You will need a permanent sign that is viewable from the nearest public roadway. The dealership name on the sign must be at least six inches or larger. So be sure the letters in the dealership name meet the minimum height requirements because this is a Texas state law. Step number six, business hours. A retail dealer must be open at least four days a week for at least four consecutive hours per day. A wholesale Texas dealer must be open at least two days per week for at least two consecutive hours hours per day and business hours must be prominently displayed near the entrance of the building you may post your business hours on the front of the building on a window or if you want to put them on your business sign the dealership must be open and staffed during your posted hours of operation regardless of the hours that you choose you must answer your dealership phone from 8 o'clock a.m to 5 o'clock p.m monday through friday texas blue law prohibits a dealer from selling vehicles on saturday and sunday a dealer may choose to be open on Saturday or Sunday, but may not be open on both days. Travel trailer and trailer semi-trailer dealers may operate seven days a week, but if a person holds a motor vehicle license and a trailer license, they may open on Saturday and Sundays, but cannot sell motor vehicles on Saturday and Sunday. Motor vehicles can only be sold on Saturday or Sunday, but never on both days. Step number seven, records. 
Texas dealers must maintain records on all vehicles purchased and sold for a minimum of four years. And the records that you store may be stored either on paper or electronically, but you must keep all records a minimum of four years. And we're going to cover records extensively in your dealer training course. Step number eight, register your business with the Texas Secretary of State or your local county. You must register the dealership name on your dealer's license with the Texas Secretary of State office and include copies of that registration with your application. The Texas Secretary of State wants to have a record of every business that's operating in the state of Texas. If you're operating as a sole proprietor or general partnership, however, you'll need to file what's called an assumed name certificate with your county. And we'll cover that extensively in your uh, training class as well. So registering your business with the Secretary of State and your county is covered in great detail in the dealer license training course. So for additional information on registering your business, you can actually call the Texas Secretary of State Business and Commercial Section at 512-463-5555. And we have several extensive phone numbers for you that'll allow you to easily operate your new business. And these phone numbers will be in your dealer training course. Step number nine, Federal Employment Identification Number, which is sometimes referred to as your EIN. Before submitting your dealer application, you must obtain a federal employment identification number, which is also known as a federal tax ID number. So uh, this is a number that's used to identify the business you are starting, and it's going to be needed for tax purposes as well. Obtaining this number is a very quick and easy step and will only take a few minutes. We have step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete this dealer licensing step in your Texas dealer pre-license training course. It just takes a few minutes and we'll show you how to easily do that in your course. Step number 10, this is the most important one. Follow all state and federal laws. If your dealer license training course, we're going to show you how to comply with all state laws that come out of Austin and all the federal laws that come out of Washington. If you follow every state and federal law, you will be able to achieve much, much higher profits with your dealership. If you maintain 100% compliance, you will maintain 100% profits. The Texas Department of Motor Vehicles is basically giving you a license to go out and make as much money as you possibly can as long as you follow all the rules. And in your Texas dealer license course, we're going to show you how easy it is to follow all the rules. So if you haven't done so yet, just go to texasdealers.com. Once again, that is texasdealers.com. Click on the blue enroll now button or read our reviews from other persons just like you that decided to obtain a profitable Texas dealer's license. Life is short and there is a world of opportunity that waits you. Now go for it.